This is the Hero's Journey project pertaining to Heart of Darkness by Landon Lamberth and Angelo Wilson for Miss Angelo's first period literature class. In his old age, Marlo, the protagonist, recalls his dramatic experience of traveling through the Congo. Marlo has a strong fascination for the world around him. He also has a love for maps and geography. To expand upon this point, Marlo decides to go traveling. Before Marlo begins his journey, he resides in Europe. Europe can be seen as the ordinary world in which Marlo will soon depart. Well, Marlo makes a final decision and it is now time for him to leave his world and travel to the new one. But, before Marlo can leave for his adventure, his aunt must aid in his affairs. His aunt can be seen as the mentor who ushers Marlo into his successes. She gets him a job with a trading company working in Africa. After this, Marlo makes a transition from his world to the special by signing a document to officially authenticate his employment. He is merely crossing the threshold. Once he arrives to the Congo, Marlo hears of a man who is greatly admired by other company workers. His name is Mr. Kurtz. Now that Marlo has learned of Mr. Kurtz, the characteristics of the special world are clear. As Marlo journeys through the Congo, it proves to be just as dark and ominous as the title implies the river to be. Due to the harsh treatment of the natives by the Europeans, Marlo also recognizes the cruel effects of imperialism. It is now apparent that the humanity Marlo is experiencing has been distorted by greed. During the duration of his journey, Marlo is assigned with the difficult task of bringing back the infamous Mr. Kurtz. This becomes Marlo's daunting test. Marlo must also captain the steamboat and repair any damages done to it. Also, when Marlo is captaining the ship, a thick fog comes in and they are attacked and Marlo's helmsman dies. Mr. Kurtz ordered the attack. Mr. Kurtz and the fog are both vital enemies of Marlo. By the martyrdom of the helmsman, Marlo can understand the rejection of imperialism as retaliation on imperialism's harm. After the death of the helmsman, Marlo approaches the inmost cave as he confronts Mr. Kurtz. At this point, he learns of Kurtz's struggle adapting to an isolated society. Kurtz's struggle is seen in the fact that he reverted to using persuasive power to bring in mass amounts of the substance called ivory. Meanwhile, Kurtz's personality adapted to fit this culture losing trace of Western civilization. In the transition of the two societies, Kurtz realizes his destructive acts as the shadow of the Congo. In order to seize anybody from following in his footsteps, he constructed effigies to be heralds of European evil. These effigies were pointed at a hut instead of outward, as if they were trying to keep something inside. Within the hut lay record of Kurtz's ideas on imperialism. Exterminate the brutes, it read. These heads were supposed to keep the book within it, but Marlo kept the book and took it away from the hut without Kurtz knowing. Now that Marlo has seen the insanity that Mr. Kurtz envelopes, Marlo goes through the ordeal as he notices Kurtz crawling away during the night. Eventually, Kurtz agrees to leave the Congolese camp, but he is severely ill and must be bedridden. On the way back to Europe, Kurtz expires and his last words are the horror, the horror. These words symbolize Kurtz's immense regret of the vile deeds he committed. After all of these events, Marlo is rewarded with a confirmed realization that imperialism is the bane of humanity.